All right, we are going to look at some limits involving uh, n behavior as x approaches infinity or x approaches negative infinity. Let's get right into this. Uh, for these problems, I fully expect you to know the answer. You should be able to look at this and say that the answer is two-thirds. So we have some rules. Sometimes the highest degree in the numerator is higher than the highest degree in the denominator, and that would have no horizontal asymptote and when the degree in the denominator is larger than the highest degree in the numerator we know it goes to zero so I fully expect you to know the answer here is two-thirds what I'm doing though is showing you why mathematically that is true so I'm gonna take the limit as X approaches negative infinity we're going to look at the highest degree in the denominator the highest degree in the denominator is X squared so I'm going to take the numerator and the denominator and I'm going to multiply here let me finish writing this out and I'm going to multiply the top the numerator by 1 over that highest degree in the denominator and I'm also going to multiply the denominator by the same thing okay once we have that that's going to equal the limit as x approaches negative infinity I'm going to distribute this to all the terms and when I do that I get 2 because the x squares cancel out then I get 5 over x squared in the numerator now let's do the denominator same thing let's distribute to the terms inside when I do that I get 3 plus 1 over x that's what it simplifies to plus 2 over x squared all right now we know that a number over infinity negative infinity square still infinity we know that this will go to zero we know that this will go to zero and we know that this will go to zero consequently this whole thing will go to two thirds but again I'm not asking you to show all that work I just want to review it and I would like to make this comment that if we turn this into a function the graph of the function y equals approaches the horizontal asymptote y equals two-thirds at the and I want to highlight this the far left I say far left because x is going smaller without bound x is approaching negative infinity so that's what happens in the far left and it will approach the horizontal asymptote y equals two-thirds at the far left end of the x-axis had I asked you the same question where x is approaching positive infinity it would still come out to be two-thirds and then we would say on the far right end of the x-axis okay let's take a look example number two and here it is we're going to employ that rule again where we multiply top and bottom by 1 over the highest degree in the denominator so I'm just gonna do some rewriting here I'm gonna multiply the numerator by 1 over x squared and then we have the denominator multiplying that by 1 over x squared after we distribute we have 2x minus 5 over x squared don't forget this limit out in front over 3 plus 1 over x plus 2 over x squared I'm going to do my little cheat here this is going to go to 0 this is going to go to 0 this is going to go to zero this is going to go to infinity so the numerator grows without bound while the denominator approaches three so that whole thing is going to go to infinity and of course you should have known that from the very beginning because you see that the highest degree in the numerator is larger than the highest degree in the denominator so this graph will continue to grow without bound as we approach the far end of the x-axis and I highlighted that here maybe take a moment to copy that down the graph of y equals will grow without bound at the far right end of the x-axis 
This next example presents more than just a polynomial over a polynomial. You might be able to look at this and determine the answer. Uh, in fact, I would take a minute here just to see if you can guess what the final answer is going to be without any work. Um, if you're saying 3 fourths, you're right. This one, because it's not polynomial over po polynomial, I do want you to show a little bit of the work. So I don't want you to just to skip to the answer, although you should be able to skip to the answer in your head. Okay, so we have a problem here. The numerator has this radical. I'm still going to employ the rule where I multiply 1 over the highest degree in the numerator. So let's do this step. Uh, perhaps you can skip this one for a moment, but I want you to see I'm going to multiply this by 1 over x. And I'm going to multiply the denominator by 1 over x. That's great. The problem is this here doesn't have a radical, so I can't distribute into the radical yet. So I'm going to show this next step, and this step is important to show. I'm going to repeat a little bit here, 9x squared plus 2. I'm going to convert what I had here into an equivalent expression, which is 1 square root of 1 over x squared. Okay, so the bottom is okay. We're going to keep that. Now, what allows me to go from here to here? Well, the square root of 1 over x squared is equal to actually 1 over the absolute value of x. But we're talking about x is getting larger without bound, so we're certainly talking about x being positive. So since x is positive, or when x is positive, this is just going to be 1 over x. So that is what allows me to go from here to writing it like here. Now I'm getting a little bit sloppy, so let me erase. Okay, and so now this is going to equal the limit as x approaches infinity. I can distribute radical into a radical. So now I have 9 plus 2 over x squared over 4 plus 3 over x. Using a little bit of my cheat, I know that the limit will apply to the functional piece. And this limit exists, it equals 0. This limit exists, it equals 0. And so in the end, this is going to result in square root of 9 over 4, or simply 3 fourths. This next example is also really getting into the nuance of some of the notation. Uh, I think you could see the answer to it right away. Uh, I think the point I'm having here is I'm employing these properties. I want you to be able to have a limit of polynomial over polynomial and currently is not in that state. So I'm going to rewrite this as the cube root of and then apply the limit to the functional part of this expression. Oh, excuse me. Plus 2 over 8x minus 1. And then as I stated before, when it is polynomial over polynomial limit, then I can just utilize that theorem that says same degree, so on and so forth. And so this will be 3 eighths inside the radicand. And so then we have the cube root of 3 over 2. And we'll finish this part of the notes with a definition. We've seen this before. The line y equals b is a horizontal asymptote of the graph of the function y equals f of x if the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x equals b or the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x equals b. Uh, this is talking about the far right, far right end of the x-axis and this one would be referring to the far left end of the x-axis.